Good afternoon. This is the video newsletter for BuySellShort.net for Sunday, June 13th. A uh, pretty positive session on Friday, although things looked pretty uh, gloomy uh, on the open. We had the retail sales report come out. Headline number, of course, spooked the market and prompted a lot of bearish uh, articles in pre-market. Retail sales, less than expected, uh, was another notch in the bear's belt for this market and economy continuing lower. However, uh, after the initial sell-off in pre-market and after the open, we actually had some nice buying come in, especially in tech stocks. And probably what happened is traders actually read the retail sales report. If you backed out gasoline sales and building supplies, retail sales number actually came in at consensus you had gasoline prices down 3.3 percent uh, last month which was a big reason we saw the retail sales report come in lower than expected uh, dollar did pop but the market sort of ignored that and we meandered for most of the trading session and then going into the last hour we saw a nice little buying spurt as some shorts started covering their bets volume kind of low um, and we do have options expiration this week, which is also probably a reason why we did not see the kind of sell-off uh, you would have expected on the retail sales report. Uh, just like the email trading tip I sent out, options expiration, you tend to see the market move opposite of the prevailing trend. Everyone on their mom has been buying uh, puts over the last couple of weeks. Puts have gotten very expensive. Calls are worthless. So... You know the old adage, the market does opposite what the most think. The most are bearish right now, so the market has started a bounce move. Looking at the charts here, you can see since we had that golden cross on the Dow on Thursday, we've had a nice little up move. If we flip over to the daily chart, you can see here on the daily chart, this is our third attempt at a bottom since the flash crash. We had the flash crash low, big bounce, failure. Then we had what looked to be a double bottom a couple of weeks ago. Nice big rally, then a failure. And now we have yet another bottom. This one, however, looks a little bit different. We've gotten to the 20-day exponential. We're right at the resistance level of the bullish falling wedge on the daily chart. But this time around, we had a downtrend break in RSI. We have a positive MACD cross. And we have a downtrend break of the stochastics downtrend line as well. So the chart is looking, you know, we said it a couple of times now previously, a lot like the February low. And another bullish thing out there, Barron's is out in an article today saying that this is actually the beginning of a new bear market. Barron's is, let me put it like this, Barron's is like Kramer. You do opposite of what they say. Barron's is now calling for a bit the beginnings of a bear market, which is a great sign because whenever the market was up here, you know, if you look back at their articles, they were saying, you know, to the moon we go. So lots of nice looking indicators out there right now. We are in the midst of what should hold as a nice bounce rally with an upside objective of the 50 day moving average that is at 10,651. Volume has kind of sucked, but we are entering the summer months when volume does dissipate. We have the World Cup has started. You remember a couple of weeks ago I said hopefully the European issues will sort of go to the sidelines when the World Cup starts. So far, so good. Uh, no, you know, end of the world articles or news out of Europe this weekend so far. So we could be in store for a nice little move here over the next few days. Looking at the SMH, resistance on the SMH is the upper trend line at 27.50. Dollar did try to break down. It did break its upper trend line. But, you know, this is, we really need, in order for a rally to really have some legs, we'd like to see the dollar fall down to the 50-day moving average. If we really start to see the dollar move to the downside, we're going to start to see a lot of trade set up. There are so many nicely set up charts out there right now. Um, it's hard not to go out and start buying them up, but you know, we're going to remain cautious right now, not rush into things over the next day or so. We'll get an idea of whether this rally really is legit. Uh, for now, you know, we're just ease into a couple of plays. We had a very nice winner already. ACLS. We tagged this one at a dollar 60 hit a dollar 79, uh, right before the close there on Friday. 
first or second target is the 20 day exponential at a dollar 86 we're looking for a dollar 86 to two dollars uh tomorrow or tuesday on this one very nice chart set up here and you'll see this uh a similar chart on many many stocks out there right now one to keep an eye on tomorrow haup this is a turd company overvalued but likes to run low floats have been in vogue and this one had a very nice little pop there on friday should see this one see follow through tomorrow target would be 250 to 275 on this one AEZS uh, biotech stocks, of course, just got decimated over the last month. But this one has hit a very strong support trend line here. It's below its 50 day moving average. And this is a stock, as you can see by the chart, that loves to trade next to its 20 day and 8 day moving average. 20 day is at 153, 8 day is 148. So if you're looking to play this one, stops at $1.30 and target is $1.40 to $1.50 that should be seen uh, probably tomorrow, just judging by the action we saw on this one Friday and the fact that it's really, really oversold. LVLT, uh, I mentioned on in the chat room on Thursday that this one should spike on Friday. And I believe I also mentioned in the video, and we saw a very nice bounce in this one back to the 120 area. Resistance is at 126 on this one, and we should continue to see follow through on this one to the upside. And the bottom should be in on this one, especially if we've seen a near term bottom in the market. TRID is another tech play. Again, notice the focus on tech stocks right now. TRID. Uh, Almost hit our first target of the 20-day exponential at 164. Secondary target is the 50-day moving average. That is at $1.76. Positive MACD cross is coming. We had stochastics bounce out of the basement. And this is another tech play that should do very, very well. Now, here are some plays to keep an eye on over the next couple of days. Uh, we're going to start putting our list together. And as long as the market starts to hold... What we really need is the euro to stop tanking and the market to sort of flatline. That is the perfect environment for charts as the ones I'm going to show you right now. Like OPWV absolutely, you know, plunged over the last month. Nice bottoming action here. Stock that loves its 20-day exponential and 50-day moving average. And this is a stock that after big steep drops usually always bounces back. We've played it quite a few times. This one's about to get a positive MACD cross. The last couple of times we've seen that has resulted in some very nice gains for the newsletter and no reason to think we won't see a similar uh, trend here again. Just looking stochastics as well, confirming that this chart is very, very ready for a move. IKAN is another one. A break of $1.95 should set this one free for a bounce back to the 210 plus area. TSEM is another tech play to keep an eye on over the next couple of days. Now, for you uh, aggressive traders, AIB, Allied Irish Banks, this is a stock that just gets decimated over and over again with all the pigs' worries that are out there. But it looks to have put in a possible bottom here. And remember, if the market has any hope of having a decent bounce over the next few days or into the end of the month, it's going to require there being no bad news out of Europe. And if that's the case, stocks like Allied Irish Banks could see a very nice bounce back to the 20-day exponential at 261. You've got a lot of uh, downtrend lines that are about to break here, and it's about to get a positive MACD cross. So for aggressive traders, this is one you might look to. You possibly could get you know, a 20 to 25% gain on this one over the next few days. So that's really it for the video tonight. Again, all the signs out there are looking very, very positive. Uh, it's about time the shorts got bent over a barrel for hanging around too long. And over the next day or so, we're going to, you know, see if this actual triple bottom that we have in place is going to be the one that holds. I think it's going to be the one that holds, uh, but we're not going to rush into stocks just yet. Uh, a lot of the indicators are starting to flash very, very bullish signals right now. So a little bit more patience, guys. When this market proves that it's ready to at least stop going down, there are going to be so many trades out there. Uh, it's going to be like being a kid in a candy store. So that's it for the video. I will see you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Goodbye.